So William is struggling emotionally and Kate's friends are speaking out once again. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the captain hat. Don't know why I've got it or why I'm wearing it, but you know, let's just go with it for this video. But please do subscribe. Send a super thanks, please, if you guys wish to. And let's get straight into this mess. Um, Royal reporters are speaking on how William is struggling very badly in terms of navigating public life. It is emotionally very difficult for him without Catherine by his side. At the moment, we are seeing the Prince of Wales perform his public duties in an exemplary manner. There's a huge amount of public approval for how he's handled them. That's not to say that it's not emotionally very difficult to be without his wife. He is not dealing with it properly. He is very stressed and very emotional and it's taking a huge toll and strain on him eventually. However, we have seen him at concerts and you know with his children, but at the same time, he is still dealing privately with some very, very strong emotions. Um, I'm not surprised that he's dealing with str um, strong um, emotions, but at the same time, I also feel like, you know, the source of the struggle of emotions may not also be from Kate's health and what she's going through, but other stipulations that are going on that I believe between their marriage and just navigating it all on a public sphere to look like you're okay is a difficult thing for anybody to do. Whether we like William or not, it definitely is. Now, Kate's friends are speaking out via Daily Beast and obviously expressing how, you know, because there is speculation now that she is going to attend the men's finale and sit at centre court and then hand out a trophy. That is a speculation that she's going to be attending the last few days of Wimbledon now. But her friends are speaking out to say that, you know, there are bad days of chemo that she is currently having. And therefore, if she was able to make trooping, it was simply because of timings and schedule. And that if she's going to make Wimbledon, it's purely because of timing and schedule. So it's pretty bad news to take for her and that the chemo that she's having right now she goes through good days and bad days and as of right now she's probably going through her you know bad days from what her friends are suggesting it will be nice to know who these friends are because for the fifth time i've done a video on how her friends are speaking out via the daily beast or new york times or new york post wherever it may be no, not new york times sorry and we don't know these friends we don't know their names we don't know where they are from we don't know anything but when it comes to rose hanbury we know where she gets her money from who's her husband what children she has how she's connected she's invited to, to be with camilla her son's invited you know to the royal processes like everything is detailed and planned out so if you can do that for somebody out there why is it so hard to give the details of who these friends are this is why these stories are just genuinely suspicious because us insider have stated that megan has reached out to kate and that Kate is just keeping it cordial. She's not really interested in engaging in any kind of friendship because she's going to stick by her man, William. So this is why I look at these stories sus because what would be the reason for Meghan to so desperately want to keep their relations together when she's left the royal family, she's not in the UK, she's gone to America, she's doing great PR tours, she just wrapped up her filming with the Netflix cooking shows. I don't understand why she would be putting this as a priority. It doesn't make any sense. She put out a public message to support for them back in March. Wrap it up. There's nothing else to do. So this is why I find all these sources, whether it's even about Kate or William or even about Meghan or Harry or anybody else when it comes to the royal family to be very sus. Not when it's about Camilla though, because I know she runs the press team. She runs everything. And there's now some recent stories about her in regards to Kate that I'm going to speak about in the next video that I find to be very sus that has been rolled out by the UK press all over today make of this what you will three to four stories in under five minutes you know we get this stuff out quick please do subscribe a quick royal nugget video for all of you i would appreciate it if you guys please do subscribe and click that button it's just one click comment down below sound off i don't know why i'm wearing this captain hat it still doesn't make sense to me at the end of this video i thought it would but you know what here i am subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon for another video